Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're gonna be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be talking about how Stasis is gonna overshadow the old subclasses. Now I know that's kind of weird considering I was just talking mad shit about it in the last video where I was basically saying that Stasis is gonna fuck up PvP, which I'm not wrong, it definitely is. But I think in PvE, it's gonna shine a lot more, mostly because we can corral enemies to however we want, we can freeze them, and the ability to customize our subclass. It, like, to me, fucking great. We've been needing this for a while. I think Destiny 2 needs less simplicity and more nuances to how we play the game, because I can tell you right now, the fact that we just pick up a, a tree and then that's it is very boring, very just, it's 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 just boring to me uh because it's 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 hilarious to me that the way they explained it was you ha just have to pick a class or you just have to pick a tree and you know what you're getting but they took the old tree system in destiny one because people would just spec into us like the strongest build and they just essentially made it easier for people to do that instead of oh what like instead of experimentation and then like you know oh okay the strongest thing is this but there are nuances to it like i'm not gonna explain the whole thing because honestly i just i hope you like trust me when i say that in destiny one sure there were strong very strong trees that you could do but there's also a lot of fun trees that you could do. Like Shade Step was a thing for Vet for Void, but there's other things that Shade Step had that other other nodes didn't have. So what I'm trying to say is that the the fact that they took that out because people because they thought, oh well, they just could choose the strongest one. So we'll just have trees that have specific specific nodes. They kind of fuck themselves because everyone chooses like bottom tree solar in PVE. They always choose what is it? Top tree void. And I'm talking for, for hunters, obviously. And same thing goes for Titans Warlocks. Warlocks literally middle tree solar for PVE and then top tree for PvP. There's no nuance. There's no experimentation. So the whole reason why I think that the old subclasses are gonna suffer a lot is because people are gonna get so entrenched in the customization of stasis that once they go back to the older subclasses they're just gonna be like oh that's right okay well i, I guess i'll just be top tree solar for my warlock i guess but they'll look at that stasis class and be like but i could do this, like i could customize this into that get some this and, like just the idea of customizing my character to the point where I can even customize like certain dude I'm obviously doing this out of my ass I don't have a script right now but the idea of really just getting into like the, the crafting of my own subclass when I haven't done it since destiny one is gonna be fucking great I, mean, I can guarantee you right now it's gonna be the most fun people have in a while because spoiler alert a lot of players are not stupid. A lot of players do like to experiment. We really do love to like find out new things. So the fact that they dumbed down subclasses for Destiny 2 was always just like an eyesore to me. So seeing customizing come back to st like, well, stasis really, I'm really excited for it. But the like light at the end of the tunnel for me is the fact that i do see them doing this for all of these subclasses i do see them like basically i'll give you an example for solar i see them pulling out all of the basically melees and then the like the the other abilities like I, like the buffs and the whatnot i do see them basically just jumbling them around so that you can use it on anything and be like, oh, do you want to use shards or do you want to you want to use the six shot or do you want to use the three shot? And then from there you can choose, well, what do you want? Do you want, you're going to use the six shot? Okay, you can use the six shot. Do you want to use the weighted knife? Do you want to use the, the mine melee or do you want to use the three knives? Okay, you want to use the three knives with six shooter? Okay, cool. Do you want to use 
the headshots get you more uh, super energy. Oh, you wanna use that? Okay, cool. That's combining three trees right there. And that's not even getting into the like bottom nodes where you can customize it even further. Not only that, they'll probably add other new mechanics to the old subclasses. And I really hope I'm not wrong because subclasses has been, have been needing this for a while. I would love it if the subclass button just turn into one button just a subclass button click it and then you get to the menu the, the one the menu in the stasis depending on which which uh subclass you have you just choose from there and from there it does an animation where your like hand closes and then it opens up and it shows like the, the subclass that you chose i would love to see more customization obviously to pretty much everything uh art void uh void arc solar and then stasis obviously it's gonna have its own thing because it's gonna be customizable but i would love to see void and all of the other ones have customizing options i would love to see like bubble be not its own super actually to, to be quite honest if, I was, if it was me i would love for it to be its own super i think uh the fact that they are able to choose one from the other i fucking hate it but at the same time i would love to like I would love for the ability, like let's say Hunter, Middle Tree, Soul, or Arc. I would love if that, like the Whirlwind was just a basic thing that all of the Arc Supers had. It's just, there were, there's just so much you could do with this. And I really hope Bungie doesn't fuck up and be like, oh wait, we're not doing subclass changes for ever. Like this, that's how they are. I really hope they don't do that because the disparity between stasis and the other subclasses are going to be so notable that I just, I don't think I'd be able to go back to like the other subclasses just because of the sheer amount of customizing that I would be able to do with stasis. So I really hope that once, you know, the expansion comes out a month later, they're like, oh yeah, by the way, like I really would love for them to do an April update or not even an April update, but like just some sort of update where it's like, oh yeah, by the way, all the subclasses got customizing now. That's free. Or just insert something here. I would love to see that. And you know, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much the video, honestly. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you guys like to see the old subclasses customizable and basically get the stasis rework or stasis work, okay, which I should say. I would love to see it mostly because I want to be able to use my solar subclass with customizing options i would love to just see different aspects of the game get upgraded and yeah that's that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlet things are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it and other than that i will see you guys later